Amen. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I come before you as humble as I know how. First of all, God, I ask you to forgive me for everything I've said, done, and thought that was unpleasing to you. Now, Lord, I come before you thanking you and praising you for this day. For this is the day that you have made, and I will rejoice and be glad in it. Lord, I thank you and I praise you for what you're doing in this hour, for what you're going to do and what you already have done. Lord, I thank you for your people. Lord, I ask you in the name of Jesus to build a firewall around us, God, against the enemy that comes in to try to terrorize us and to come up against us. God, I ask you to ditch that they dug for us. Let them fall into their own ditch in the mighty name of Jesus. I bind up distractions right now in the mighty name of Jesus. I bind up every discouraging spirit in the mighty name of Jesus. I bind up anything that will cause your people to falter and fall in the mighty name of Jesus. Satan, I render you null and void right now in the mighty name of Jesus. I cancel every assignment that you have set out against your God's people in the mighty name of Jesus. God, I ask you to open the ears of your people, open their eyes, take the scales off. God, I ask you to let us lift our voice. Let, let, let us lift our voice to come up against the enemy. Lord, let us not walk in fear, but in, in, but in, but in, but in power and love and a sound mind. In Jesus' name, amen. I thank you and I praise you, amen. 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 I want you all to turn to Nehemiah. <clears throat> Um, Nehemiah, um, chapter 4. Y'all find Nehemiah? Everybody found it? Amen. 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 Y'all got it? Say amen. amen. Okay. I need some glasses. this way. Nehemiah chapter 4, and it reads, Sanballat was very angry when he learned that we were rebuilding the wall. I got things like the line. Sanballat was very angry when he learned that we were rebuilding the wall. He flew into a rage and mocked the Jews, saying in front of his friends and the Sumerian army officers, What does this bunch of poor, feeble Jews think they are doing? Do they think they can build the wall in a single day by just offering a few sacrifices? Do they actually think they can make something of stone from a rubbish heap? and curved ones at that. <clears throat> Tobiah, the Amunite, who was standing beside him, remarked, that stone wall will collapse if a fox walked along the top of it. Let me stop right there. Nehemiah was a man of God, <clears throat> and he see that Jerusalem's walls had came down. There had been a lot of wear, wear and tear, a lot of, you know, a lot of things that went on in Jerusalem. And the walls had came down. And um, so Nehemiah had went to God and God had spoke to him and told him, I want you to rebuild the wall. And so um, he had went to the king. Uh, Nehemiah, let me tell you a little bit about Nehemiah. Nehemiah was a cupbearer for the king. And that's really all he was, but he was also a man of God. So, you know, God had assigned him to this king, but he had favor with the king. He was just a cupbearer, but he had favor with the king. But he also had a heart for God's people and what God had called him to do. And so, um, when Nehemiah decided to uh, build a wall, he went to the people in Jerusalem. He went to a lot of people and he, he said, I want to rebuild this wall. And it was tore down. I mean, it was tore up from the floor. And how many know that some things in our lives are tore up from the floor? Yeah. How many know that some things, even in the church life, is tore up from the floor? But God is telling us to re rebuild the wall. Yeah. 
You know what I'm saying? Even this wall, even the church walls need to be rebuilt. And what I mean by the walls, I mean the kingdom of God that suffers so violently. Now we got to take it by force. And we have to go and we got to build the wall. We got to use our hands. We got to use our spiritual know-how to build the wall. And so Sam Ballard was a man that was against everything that was of God. And so Sam Ballard, you know, he seen and heard that Nehemiah was going to build this wall, and they start mocking him, making fun of him. Oh, they ain't about to do nothing. You know, this ain't nothing but a bunch of heat. And how many people was to say that about you? They ain't going to never be nothing. They ain't going to be nothing. I don't know why you're pouring into that one, because that one ain't trying to be right. I don't know why you're trying to do that with that one. Why are you wasting your time over there? Cause they, because the wall have been torn down so bad. People have been torn down so bad. So now it looks like ain't no help for the people. It looks like it ain't no help for the church. Because things have been torn down so horribly to it just look like it won't be built. How many know that in these past couple of months we have been through so many things that it look like we just can't get back up? You know what I'm saying? Even though the enemy is coming in like a flood, God said he'll lift up a standard against us. And I know we're looking around like, God, when you going to lift it? Yeah. When you going to lift up the standard? Right now, I don't see you working. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? But Nehemiah was a man of faith. Mm -hmm. And no matter how it looked, because that wall that they was getting ready to build was horrible. Mm -hmm. And it took stone. It took strong men and women to be able to build this wall. But I'm telling you, the wall was so torn down to it looked like it couldn't be rebuilt. How many lives look so torn down right now? How many marriages look so torn down right now to it look like it just can't be rebuilt? And we even have people mocking us, mocking this ministry, mocking you, mocking you. You don't just say, oh, no, that marriage is just gone. There ain't no way that can be rebuilt. Oh, no, wait a minute. Uh-uh. That household is just tore up. Ain't no, no kids out of order. Ain't no way that things going to be changed. Mm -hmm. But God looking for a person that got the faith. Yes. Faith mm -hmm. to even when you don't see it, uh -huh. you know God is able. Yeah. Right. Amen. Because the Bible says now faith. Uh -huh is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. So let me get back to the text. And so, so, um, Tobiah, the Ammonite, who was standing beside him, remarked, that stone wall will collapse even if a fox walked alongside him. He said, this is what Nehemiah said, then I pray, hear us, O God, for we are being mocked, talked about. May their scoffing fall back on their own heads. May they make them their selves become captive in a foreign land. He said, do not ignore their guilt. Do not blot out their sins. For they have provoked you to anger here in front of the builders. Now what he was saying, you know a lot of people say, oh you're supposed to pray. Don't pray. Don't do that. Uh-uh. You're supposed to pray for them. And here, Nehemiah is saying, get them. Uh -huh. Get them. Get them. God, they're talking about us. Yes. They're coming against us. They're saying this ministry will not last. Uh -huh. They're trying to tear this ministry down. They, they're plotting against us. God, you get them. This is what this is saying. He said, uh -uh. God, the same dish they dug for us, let them fall in. That, everything that they're putting on our head, he said, let them fall on their own head. And so Nehemiah, he prayed like this. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I know a lot of y'all been taught, pray for your enemies. Uh -huh. Pray for those who despitefully use you. But when you're an enemy of mine, you're an enemy of God's. Uh -huh. And when you're coming up against something that God called uh -huh. and God chose, and you speak in all matters of evil and saying things that you ought not say, uh -huh. then you know what? Instead of me retaliating like I would do, uh -huh. God, get them. You see what I'm saying? Instead of me retaliating, uh -huh. see what happened was, see Nehemiah, instead of him retaliating, he expressed his anger to God. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? He told God, hey, 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 get him. Uh -huh. 
before I take matters in my own hand. Instead of him taking the matters in his own hand, he said, God, you deal with these people. You deal with them. He told God, he said, uh, bring justice to us. He was asking God. And, and so what he did was he justifiably spoke a curse. He spoke a curse to the enemies of God. Uh -huh. Now, y'all hear this? Uh -huh. Now, listen.